What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different, something I haven't quite done yet, but it's going to be a thermal sight in-depth review here. First, you're seeing a round where I clutch. It's a 1v3 clutch, so it's pretty nice, but um, after that, it will start getting into breaking down the uh, thermal sight. I just used this little bit of the gameplay here just so I could do my introduction, so um, it should be ending pretty soon here. Just gotta wait for it. Do, 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 do. All right, and we are into it now. So basically, the person on the top should have cold blooded on, and the person on the bottom should not. And we're gonna do several different ways of looking at them. So first, we're just gonna look at a standard in depth looking. So we're both looking at each other. You can see how that looks with cold blooded and without. And then I'm gonna lay down and look. And then I'm going to lay down. I should lay down and look with the other character here. So you can see it looks like a dead body there. So that's something to remember. So if you have cold blooded, you can always lay down and you uh, will look like just like a dead body. Uh, now I believe I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how you can blend in with your surroundings with cold blooded as well. Um, I'm going to try and line myself up with a palm tree and I'm going to fail at first. And then give it just a few seconds... And I should line it up here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, so you can see... Look how well that blends into the palm tree and the bars and things. That's ridiculous. It's going to be hard to see people with cold-blooded with a thermal sight from a distance. Um, and then I'm going to jump back down here. And now we're going to start using some smokes to see what happens. Um, both of us have the cloaking ability, and we're going to... Uh, just look through one smoke each first and see if it has any effect. And so you can see that even with cold blooded on, you can still see through a smoke. So that's something that's very interesting. People may not realize that um, at first. And so that could be very useful in S&D if, if you think they might be planning the bomb or something after they throw a smoke. So keep that in mind. And then I believe I'm going to uh, come over here and throw a smoke and look at him who... And now he's now he's using cloak, and you can see how it's like it's barely visible. So cold blooded plus cloaking while looking through a smoke, um, it's it's almost impossible to see them. Um, and now we're gonna do that on the opposite side of things here. We're gonna throw a smoke, and we're just gonna look straight through it first. So you can see it's just like if there was no smoke there, because um, this is the person without cold blooded. So. You can just kind of see there that it it works like normal. Now we're going to throw another smoke, and this time we're going to have that person use cloak. And you'll see that cloak has absolutely no effect whatsoever when a smoke is down So with a thermal sight. So you can still see through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way. Until next time, everybody, peace out.